If you're using social services and you are moving, let's start this right out the gate. It's better to ask permission than forgiveness. Ask and tell them if you're thinking about moving. The number of times when I used to when I used to practice law, the number of times that I used to get people who would relocate and they would all of a sudden find that their whole social services infrastructure was just all jacked up. And they were like, I don't understand what happened. I thought everything would just move easily with me. And the first question I asked them is, did you tell anybody you were moving? And then all of a sudden you get radio silence. Let me tell you why it's important that you let somebody know that you're moving in terms of making sure your social services infrastructure or the social services that you receive aren't substantially disrupted. You wanna make sure you contact them before you leave so that this way they can tell you about anything that you need to know before you leave. Too many times what happens is that people make a cursory call and they'll say, oh, I'm thinking about moving. Oh, make sure you do this. And what happens is that they get the scant information and they think that's cool. Well, guess what? Be specific. If you know you're gonna be going to a particular state, city, or county, they may be able to tell you if any of your services may be disruptive or if there's any sistership, partnership with that particular state or county, whatever the case may be. Find out this ahead of time so you're not shocked when you leave and then get down there or get, go over there or up there and find out something different. When you know you're about to move, find out what the effect of that move will be. I mean, go down everything. I don't care what social service program that you're utilizing, whether it be economic services, food stamps, cash assistance, SNAP, whatever. Find out what impact of you moving from point A to point B, including the circumstances. Like let's say that you're homeless and one of your friends is willing to take you in. Find out what moving into that person's home is going to do on your, in terms of the impact on your services. Don't sit there and rely on the fact that one agency is going to tell another. Now, I'm not saying they won't. I'm saying don't solely rely on that. Because sometimes what happens is that we get into this position where we're thinking, oh, I'll just let them know and they'll tell you, oh, we'll notify them once you get down there. Just let us know we're down there and we'll notify them. And then you just kind of sit back and chill. Say, okay, I got this. And then when you find out a month or two later that it didn't happen or maybe they did try and that other portion wasn't as receptive, then you're freaking out. What do I mean by the other portion or isn't receptive? Let's say that the agency that you left says, we'll contact the agency in the area where you're at. They may actually do that, but maybe the, the agency where you're at doesn't respond or maybe hasn't gotten the message or hasn't heard from you to let them know that you're there. So don't just solely rely on them. Find out what you need to do once you get to your new location so that if they say, well, we'll contact them. Well, do I need to do anything when I get down there to make sure that we're connected and that there's just no issues? Which brings me to my next point. Make sure you contact that agency as soon as you get down there. When you're moving, you got a whole lot of moving parts you're worried about. You're worried about money, clothes, foods, all that kind of stuff. And that's important. But if you're someone that relies heavily on social services, you want to ensure that there's no major disruption in your services. So as soon as you get to wherever you're going, start making the moves to let people know as soon as possible. Don't wait a day, don't wait a month or a couple of months or trust that maybe somebody else is gonna take care of that. Jump on it right away so that this way, if there's any hiccups, you can jump on it sooner than later. Which brings me to the point of level of services. What I've found is that certain states have a different level of services than others. And what ends up happening is that when people move, they use their experiences with the prior location as a basis for the one they're going to. Be careful doing that. Because by doing that, what happens is that you set a level of expectation in terms of what you think you're gonna get. So find out before you move if it's possible. But if you're not able to do that, expect there might be a possibility that you're gonna see a difference in the level of service. Which brings me to another point. Make sure you expect a certain difference in the level of services. If you know that your services that you received, you rely heavily on it in terms of how they do things. Find out if that level of service is going to remain when you go to your new location. If not, that might dictate whether you move. The number of times, and, and for those of you who are wondering, I used to live in Florida. And I used to represent a lot of clients who would relocate from Connecticut, New York, and so forth like that. And what I found was that a lot of them came from areas where the infrastructure, the social services infrastructure was really good. 
And then they would come to Florida or certain parts of Florida and be like, I don't understand when I was in. And when they lead off with when I was in, I stopped them and I said, but you're not there now. Well, if I didn't know, you should have found out before you got here. And then it's like, they're like, that's just harsh. I'm like, it's not me being harsh. It's just that I understand what it means that you had a infrastructure in place for health reasons, for personal reasons, for financial reasons, you felt it necessary to relocate. I get that, power to the people. However, the problem is that you came with the expectation that the services that you received in your prior location would be the same here. And unfortunately, a simple couple of calls, you would have found out, and then you could have made the decision is relocating for whatever reason worth losing the infrastructure you have in place to support you. And then I'll say, had you known this in advance, would you have moved? No. And I'm not trying to be funky. I'm always like, so whose fault is that? And you can kind of see the air come out of the wind. And I'm like, I'm not trying to be harsh. But the other thing I need you to also keep in mind is when you're asking that question, let's say you decide to move. Ask them, can you come back to it? Because some of these systems are set up in such a way that if you leave them, reestablishing them becomes a nightmare. So ask all these type of things. When you're making a move and you have social services that are designed to provide an infrastructure to support you for whatever reason, make sure you understand that everything you have in place may not be in place the way you want it or like it or used to when you go to that new location. So take every effort to educate yourself and do whatever steps possible so that this way you don't see a disruption in your services. Thank you.